this video, we're going to look at gradient and how to calculate the gradient of a line that passes through two given coordinates. So before we do that, I strongly recommend you watch my other video on gradient only. Uh, but we should, this is just a bit of a reminder, so you should remember that if you had two coordinates, so this coordinate here and this coordinate here, if you wanted to calculate the gradient of a line uh, that passes through both of them, you would do rise divided by run. So you work out the rise and you divide it by the run. Another way of writing that, you should, um, on that sort of video called uh, gradient, you'll see this as well. It is also shown by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This represents the rise, okay, the change in heights, y1 minus y2 gives you the rise, uh, divided by x2 minus x1 gives you the run. So you can work it out using rise divided by run, or you can use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1, y1 is the first coordinate, and y2, or x2, y2 is the second coordinate. Um, yeah. First question we're going to look at it says work out the gradient of the line passing through 1, 2, and 3, 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a uh, use a coordinate grid to start off with. Um, I'm just going to use this to sort of emphasize the method, how and what we're going to do, and then we'll do the rest of the examples without having the coordinate grid. So the coordinates were 1, 2, so 1, 2, and 3, 6. We've been asked to find the gradient of the line that passes through those, so to work out the gradient of the line that passes through these two points. So, remember, we could use rise divided by run. So, if we were to use rise divided by run, you would draw a little triangle like so, right angle triangle. The rise is 1, 2, 3, 4. The run is 1, 2. And you do the rise, 4, divided by the run, 2. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, the gradient of the line is 2. So, that's one way to do it. The alternative method is to use m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So to use that, the first thing I would do is to look at your two coordinates, see which one comes first. So uh, 1, 2, well that would be before 3, 6, so if it's further to the left, and label them. So x1, y1, x2, y2. And just substitute these values into the formula, so you would get um, y2, 6, subtract y1, 2, divided by x2, 3, minus x1, 1. That gives you 6 minus 2 is 4, divided by 3 minus 1 is 2, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we could use both methods. I tend to, would, I would tend to, and A-level students, I would recommend to use the second method so that you can um, just put the formula down and do it without having to draw um, a picture. Alternatively, you can just do a sketch if you want to, particularly GCSE level, if you find that helps. Okay, so we're going to work out the gradient of the line that passes through 0, minus 2, and 4, 4. And this time I'm going to do it without using a sketch. So this one is further to the left, uh, so we can label it x1, y1. And this one then comes next, so x2, y2. And the gradient, m, remember m stands for the gradient, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's just substitute them in. So m equals y2, well y2 is 4 minus y1, well y1's minus 2, so that's going to be minus, minus 2, divided by x2, 4, minus x1, which is 0. So that would give us 4 minus minus 2, well 4 minus minus, well that would be 4 plus 2, which is 6, over uh, 4 subtract 0 is 4. And then 6 divided by 4, well that's going to be equal to 1.5. Remember, you can just half it and half it again, 1.5. Finally, work out the gradient of the line passing through 3, 5, and 0, minus 4. So this one's further to the left, so label it x1, y1, x2, y2. Actually, I am saying label this one x1, y1 because it's further to the left. Because you're substituting them into the formula, it doesn't actually matter which way around you label them. Um, I just like to make it um, sort of make sense in terms of rise over run, um, but you can label it um, either way around if you wish. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's substitute the values in. So we're going to get y2, well y2 is minus 4, minus y1, which is minus 5, divided by uh, x2, so x2 is 0, minus, minus 3. 
Just making sure that you're putting the signs in the right place. So it was y2, which is minus 4, I've put that in brackets, subtract 5 over 0, subtract minus 3. Minus 4, take away 5, would be minus 9. And 0, minus minus 3, well 0 plus 3 is 3. And minus 9 divided by 3 would give you the gradient of minus 3.